Hey guys! Happy Friday Eve! So I am trying to get onto my page so I don't miss anybody coming in because I always hate not saying hello to people when they come in. Okay, good. I didn't miss anybody yet. Everyone's probably like, you crazy girl, you, with the Christmas stuff. And I'm telling you, I don't want to be doing Christmas. I feel like it's too early. But this stuff is so cute, I can't not do it. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Wendy. Um, I'm just going to give it another minute. I'm going to get my website into the comments while I wait for some more peeps to come in. I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope for my team girls that are on right now, I hope you enjoyed the meetings tonight. I think we had an I think we had two hours jam-packed worth of awesomeness. Um, hi Valerie, hi Julie, hi Cal. Do you tell where the board is from? I absolutely will. Hi Scotty, hi Melissa. Okay. So guys, first and foremost, if you would please share my video. Um, if you're on your mobile device, bottom left-hand side of your screen is a little share button. I would love it if you would share it. Hi, Tanya. So, tonight, and I'm telling you I'm going to be off this, but wait, before I even get started. Okay, hold on. So, remember the other night I made a Christmas project and I said, oh, I wasn't going to the store to get things. Well, I had to run to Dollar Tree to grab some stuff. I did. I had my camera going for Erica to watch. Oh, how awesome. Hi, Melissa. So remember when I made the Days Until Christmas and I said I wasn't going to do any Christmas or uh, any Christmas balls or whatnot? Well, look what Dollar Tree had. And I couldn't help but get them. I hope you guys can see this. So I took out the scrapbook paper that I had in there, all twirled up because I just hated the way it looked, to be completely honest. Um, it looked a little messy in there, but I thought how fun that I have my frame and I have some little jingle bells in there. Okay. And come on guys. There we go. So, and it's so nice because I can, hi Pat, thanks for joining. Um, I can go ahead and write right on my glass, which of course guys, I will get a, a better marker. But remember this was little brands. Shh, I never gave it back to them. So you can literally just write how many days there are. Um, I used a chalk marker the other night, and I'll show you how well that worked. I'm just, I don't know why I keep going with 15. That's crazy. Um, I keep writing it, but like, look how nice the chalk marker works. You can see it right on there. You can change it up. Um, you can do your different days till Christmas. Hi, Angela. Hello, Teresa. So, yeah, so the, I went back in and I corrected it, and I love it. My little shadow box, it was, you guys saw how quick this was. Super quick, super easy. It's all chalk paste. It's not coming off until I'm ready for it to come off with my water. Additionally, I made another shadow box about two weeks ago, and I said, I'm going to go out and pick some leaves. And then I thought about it, and I'm like, who am I kidding? I'm afraid of bugs. So, hi, Stacy. Hi, Maureen. When I was at Dollar Tree, they had these super cute, colorful leaves, and I remembered the colors that I made my project with here, and I thought these would be beautiful in the background. And I think the colors really complement this, and you can see the leaves I made down here and my gather here with grateful hearts, and this is going to be so pretty with my other board that I made the other night, the gather board. It's going to be gorgeous on my dining room table when it comes time for Thanksgiving. So I wanted to come back and show you guys, hi, Cindy, how I finished off my projects because I'm really bad about coming back in to do like legit finish. Like I always do finished after I'm done with the chalk paste and stuff. Hi, Tyler. But I never come back in and actually show the projects like when they are legit done. So this is done and my little days until Christmas is done. So we have that finished. Hello. Hello, Michelle. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, I saw another designer post these frames and I was like, oh, I have got to have this. Hi, Janet. Um, so I literally ran and bought every one of them that they had at the store at Hobby Lobby. Um, and of course, there was they said they had three because, you know, Hobby Lobby doesn't order a lot like they're a debt-free company so they only have what they have so then you have to wait for reorders they sell and then they go right 
So they had three. I was like, yes, hold them for me. I'll be there. I go there. And the one of the boards was completely cracked. I was like, you can't sell me this. I need it to not be cracked. So I was a little bummed. And this one's got a few little scratches in it. But you know what? I'm going to show you how I'm going to take care of that with my little chalk marker. So I'm using, this is a, I believe a, hold on, I will tell you what size transfer this is. Hold on. Um, I'm going to tell you how much it costs. Um, it's the Ho 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 transfer and it is, let's see, sort price low to high because I know it's on the, the cheaper side, which is really nice. And I'm going to show you how we can use this for multiple projects over the next few weeks. Oh, this is only $10.99, this transfer. And remember, guys, we can reuse these over and over and over and over and over and over again, okay? Tons and tons and tons of times. So tonight on this board, I'm going to do Merry and Bright. And then I'm going to redo, I got, like I said, I bought another one, and I'm going to do Ho Ho Ho. And then I'm going to come in and do other projects, not just these signs, with these two. And they're going to be super stinking cute. Okay, so the fun part about this is there's Mary and, and you have two options for your and. I'm going to show you as soon as I get them cut here. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. Anybody who's just joined, hi Jennifer, I'd love it if you'd hit the share button on the bottom left hand side of your mobile device so I can share the Chalk Couture love with other people. Um, so we get two different ands. Like how cute is that? We can do this fancy little and or we can do this fun and. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think I'm feeling more, especially after last night, my whimsy. Remember my little whimsy moment? I said, I'm all about it. Oh, I'm going to do it just like that. So that's going to fit perfectly on here. Okay. And I want to make sure I leave a little bit of room around because like I said, I'm going to try to do something to, hi Shelly, hi Susan, hi Carol, hi Anna. Um, I'm going to try and do something with the chalk marker to touch up where the scratches were on the board. So um, this is super simple. I'm using two chalk paste colors. What I actually, hold on, I'm taking that back. I'm going to stick with my whimsy theme from the other night. And you know what? I'm going to use lime green because I love the red, the white, and the lime green together. And now guess what? I'm making coordinating decorations with the items that I made because if you remember the other night, I used lime green and red and white in my project. So now these are going to be coordinating. And guess what? That means I get to keep them. Ooh, ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> so let me grab, of course, I forgot my squeegees because I cleaned them. What was it? Last night I couldn't come in because we had team meetings. So um, I was not able to get into on to do my project. So that's okay. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. Right? You're back on your transfer. Absolutely. I was going to do that. Thank you, Teresa. Um, I appreciate you reminding me. So this is our chalk paste, guys. For those of you who have never seen this, this is a paste. It is not a paint. It goes on wet and it dries hard so that way we can rub our hands over it and it doesn't smear. When you get your chalk paste and you're going to use it, you want to stir it before you use it and you want to make sure that you get it as a yogurt-like consistency, okay? I'm going to, hopefully you guys can see this because I do see it's a little dark right here. My aunt light is not helping, Okay. Um, I got the super cute boarded Hobby Lobby. Okay, so as Teresa said, I have my marker right here. I want to make sure that I write back on the back of each of my transfers. But you know what I'm going to do because they're almost the same size? I'm actually going to write the word. That's just been easier for me. And I'm going to write it the way that I cut it. So that way I can just put it right back on the way it goes. And let me get, I'll just do a big... Okay, so we got that. So now we're ready to go. And like I said, I'm going to do one color. So guys, if you want to dabble a little bit with Chalk Couture and you want to just test the waters a little bit, this is a 1099 transfer and I'm going to show you how we're going to be able to reuse this over and over and over again. Um, because that's the best part about our transfers when we clean them. And the reason we put back on the back is because these are reusable carrier sheets, okay? So the transfers are reusable and they stay on the carrier sheets is what I meant to say. Hi, Jamie. So 
I'm just peeling it off and I'm going to place it right on my board. Okay. So remember I said I wanted to leave a little bit of extra room around because I want to correct where the board got, uh, where the board I purchased scratched. Okay. So I am going to just place these down now. And remember we put back one for that reason. So when we're all done, we're just going to put it in a little vat of water and we're going to, um, that looks pretty good. We're going to put it in a little vat of water. We're going to clean it. And then we're going to let it dry um, after we use a Lysol wipe on the on it to fully clean it off. And then we can put it back on the carrier sheet and it will be ready for our next use. Right? Right. So much fun. So I think I want it to look just like that. Is it crooked? It is crooked. Hold on, guys. Hi, Maureen. I got it. Hi, Terry. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's so cute, isn't it? Okay, and I just don't want to stretch my transfer, so I'm just going to make sure. That looks to be about straight, but guess what? Now it's all bubbled. So let's take it up and make sure we get all the bubbles out and get it back down. And that means Mary is crooked, too. My goodness. My site is off tonight okay let's try that again that looks better make sure there's no bubbles yeah that looks good I think because I cut it a little crooked which is no big deal it doesn't matter um, hi Jessica how are you girlfriend so now that I have my chalk paste all mixed up and I have my transfers down my transfer is down I'm gonna use our squeegees okay this squeegee is cut in half it actually comes longer but um, I like to cut them in half because I feel like they're more manageable okay I have no um, hold on we need to take and off because now that I'm looking at it it is not lined up at all where I re put this down so let's redo that shall we There we go. Is that straight? Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so like I was saying, the squeegee I cut in half. It's more manageable for my fingers. Hi, Susan. Hi, Suzanne. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is get my lemon chalk, uh, my lemon, my lime chalk paste, and I'm just going to push some down across the transfer, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my squeegee and I'm going to pull the color down across the silk screen because that's what our transfers are made of they're made of silk screen so that way the chalk paste goes through and adheres to the board okay and this is a little area and I'm trying not to make a giant mess because you guys know I'm really good at doing that I'm getting all of my lines out because I don't want the lines to go through the silk screen okay and remember you want to wipe that excess off because this is all chalk paste that we can reuse over and over and over again remember guys these two ounce containers do go a really long way I promise because I have been reusing these colors over and over and over again the only ones I've ran out of um, are white and orange and lemon yellow but I've been using those colors for probably a good two months now almost non-stop okay as you can see all the excess I'm picking up, I'm coming back over here and putting it on where I missed. And I'm going to get this color down right on my end. And then we're going to lift everything up and we're going to have our finished project. Well, it's going to be finished with the chalk paste part. I want to add some additional to it. But do you see how cute this is? Hi, Sue. Hi, Denise. Okay. And you want to just be careful not to tug on your transfer because you don't want to stretch it, right? And you want to make sure you move kind of quick because we don't want the color to dry on the transfer, on the silk screen, because if it does, it's not going to go through to the board, right? And I'm trying to be very careful because I should have never pulled that and off first <laughs> because um, I could have put my hands in it. But look how cute that looks. Now, what you guys aren't seeing me do off camera is I have water in a pan. I actually just have a chafing pan, you know, the ones that you use when you make big dinners and 
meals for people and they sit in the hot with the sternos and stuff. Um, so I just put it in there and I'll clean it as soon as I'm done. And now I'm going to close up my chalk paste. Okay. And just scoop it in. That way I am not wasting any of my chalk paste. You take it right off your squeegee. Okay. And let's close it back up so it doesn't dry up. Okay. Hi, Jamie. So there is my Mary and Bright. Now what I'm going to do so that way I don't put my hands in it and get it all like jacked up. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to just take my heat tool, which you can use a hair dryer. Um, you can use, if you are like a, a paper crafter, um, you can totally use, um, your heat tool for this, your heat gun. And yes, agreed, Amy. It's whimsical, right? I love it. I was even considering using the Caribbean. I thought that would have been gorgeous or even aquamarine, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the lime green. I think that'll be super cute tonight. Now guys also keep in mind the best part about the chalk couture chalk paste is that it comes off with water. So if I don't like something I did, I can totally just go ahead and get a little bit of water and remove it. Hi, Raphael. Hi, Alicia. So um, it comes right off. So I can redo this board. I could put another design on it. I can do anything I want with this. Okay? That's the best part about chalk couture. You can design. You can love it. You can wash it off and repeat it. Okay? So this does appear to be dry. See, guys? I'm rubbing my hands all across it. I still have my chalkboard look. And it is not wiping off, which I love. Hi, Trace. So now, like I said, I have this scratch. Uh-oh. Can you guys see me still? Uh-oh. I see broadcast interrupted on the iPad. What's going on? Can I? Waiting in line, figured I'd jump on and see you. Uh-oh. Can I get some thumbs up if you guys can see me? Please don't tell me it ended. <laughs> Let me see if I can get thumbs up. Oh, no, we're losing people. Waiting in line. I figured I'd see you. Voice interrupted. Is everyone else frozen? Oh, no. What's going on? Can you guys see me at all? Okay, I think I'm back. Am I back, guys? Yay. Woo. Okay, good. I don't know what happened. So all I'm going to do is just use a regular chalk marker, okay? And I am just going to come in and do some, like, little doodling around the frame. That's, like, literally just little doodles. This is just a little technique I, I picked up um, oop, when I did uh, some, like, scrapbooking things. It's very hard to do this when you can't put your pinky down. <laughs> and gone again. What, Susan? I see myself on here. Hi, April. Hi. Oh, good, Jess. I'm glad you still see me. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Let's keep on going. Okay. Just going to keep going around the frame. And I might just come back over and go over some of the areas a little heavier once it's dried. And just so I can like take away from the dis distraction that is the, uh, the scratch on the board. Um, I might even also do, I'm trying to, yep, the chalk marker will come off. Hi, Barb. Um, thank you, April. I'm also going to do, let's see, um, I'm trying to maneuver my hands so I don't put my hands all in the, the spots I just did. Let's just see how this will work. Just like little doodles. That's all I want to do. Okay. 
I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can write over the letters. Hi, Jen. Hi, Anne. Thanks, Janet. Thank you, April. Hi. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, so let's test it out, shall we? I'll test it out on... Why not just go with the M? Let's go for it. Oh, guys, it works. Oh, it works. It works. It works. Just little dots. Weak. I'm just going to be able to stick with probably just dots. And you know what? The color really isn't getting picked up on my marker, which is pretty fun. This is hard to do. <laughs> when you have just a pinky that you have to put down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if you guys are... I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this when I'm done. Just little accent dots. Just to make it more fun. It's already fun. But a little more, right? Doesn't hurt. Eek. Putting lines. Putting lines in my lines. Okay, so. I think that's cute. I think it is. I'm hoping you guys can see it. I'll hold it up in one sec. Okay. Hi, Alma. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Jen. Hey, Lise. Okay, so... I'm just finishing up some little doodles here. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Hi, Teresa. So that's how I finished it. So like I said, I was just trying to take away, and now I feel like there's a giant glare on this. Wait, let me see how you guys are seeing it. Okay, hopefully you can see it. I just was trying to take away from the... A uh, giant scratch that was on the board because I loved it so much. So I thought this would be super cute and it was super easy. And like I said, guys, the best part about this was I used one chalk paste for $8.99 and one transfer for $10.99. And I'm going to get multiple projects out of this. I used the Marion Bright for this particular project. I will do another one. Thank you, Teresa. I will do another one that has ho, ho, ho and show you how I'll do that. Um, and all I did was use lime green and the ho, 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 uh, transfer easy peasy. And look how cute this looks. And it's going to look super cute. I hope next to this when I decorate, cause I tried to stick with the same colors. Um, so now the next one I got to do, I got to incorporate my aquamarine and some of the white. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Meg. So hopefully these are going to be, like I said, I'm trying to stick with whimsy. That's like my, my, my. Christmas that I like. I like very whimsical um, and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I liked making this tonight. I thought it was super cute and super easy. Thank you, Anne. Thanks, Donna. Hi, Janet. Hey, Meg. So I have placed my store in the top of the comments, but I'm going to place it again down in the bottom. Um, for those of you who wish to order, you can jump right into my online store. If you are not a designer and you love what you see, I would love it if you join my team. We, um, the kit is only, oh, thanks, Jess. You would love this, girl. It's so much fun. Um, the kit's only $99 to join. You get over $200 worth of product. Um, it's so much fun. The commissions are flipping insane. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Sharon. Um, commission is fantastic. Um, my team is growing by leaps and bounds. Um, I joined July 1st and I already have 91 people on my team. Um, they're all rock stars. So I'm super, super excited about this and I can't wait to see where this takes me, but I'd love to do it with you guys. So if you want to 
go on and join my team. Or if you're like, you know what, girl, I just want to, I'll be completely happy playing. That's awesome too. Um, let me know. I will add you to my VIP group if you have not already joined it. And um, I will uh, also, like I said, just love to have you as a customer. That would be fantastic. So uh, if you guys don't have any questions for me, I'm going to let you go. Um, thanks so much for joining me with my super quick project tonight. And I will talk to you later. Bye.